Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's reading, I'm going to be channeling a message from the Divine Masculine Twin Flame. And without any further ado, we can begin the reading with the first card here. It really was me, not you. My beloved Divine Feminine. I'm sorry, there is nothing that you did wrong, there's nothing that you said wrong, there's nothing you could have done differently. You didn't make any mistakes on this journey. There are no mistakes on this journey. So please don't take anything personally. Please don't take anything personally that I've mirrored to you. You are a perfect child of the divine exactly as you are and I love you just exactly as you are. You don't need to do anything for me to love you or for me to come to you. Now I love you exactly as you are. I am filled with a ton of regret over what happened between us. So, I hope that you can forgive me and forgive yourself because there are no mistakes on this journey. Everything is guiding us deeper into love. I'm a better person because of you. Yeah, you have changed my life immeasurably. You have changed me immeasurably. You're the one that's brought me deeper into love. You're the one that's shown me who I really am. And that's what I'm discovering now. So uh, I owe you everything. I want to marry you one day when the time is right. So, don't worry, uh, divine timing is at, at work in our, in our lives now and in our union. But it's not really divine timing, it's divine order. Little bits and pieces come up for healing before the next piece comes up to be worked through. Until there comes a point when we won't be able to stay away from each other. And that's okay. It doesn't matter how long the process takes because it is a process. If we hit um, a sticky patch that takes a little bit longer, then, then we expected, then that's okay too. I want this harmonious union just as much as you do. I want to be with my woman. I want to be with my divine feminine, which is you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. But it really is something that I am truly desiring. Only my fears are holding me back right now. So you can help me with that. Do you recognise where you have fears within yourself? Can can you work through these fears? What are the fears about? Are they, is it, are they just anxiety? Are they irrational fears? About things not working out? About everything suddenly going wrong? About not receiving our heart's desires? It's safe to surrender those fears now. It's safe to release those fears. Place them in the hands of the divine, let the divine take them away and recycle them. That's spiritual ecology. I miss you regardless of how things seem. You were in my dreams last night. And yes, they are shared dreams. 
We're meeting up in the dream state. We're showing up for each other there. Or we can express how we really feel to each other. I am having family troubles. You once again, it seems to be, it seems to be you referring to inner child healing that's taking place right now. Uh, yeah, the inner child healing that I that I'm having to look at now is. Times when I wasn't allowed to express my truth, when I wasn't allowed to be myself, when I was deprived of my heart's desires and instead given what I didn't want. But the divine places all the desires in your heart for a reason. The divine places the these desires in your heart so that they may be fulfilled. The divine would never deprive you of what you want and force on you what you don't want. The divine will never give you anything that is not your heart's desire. So it's safe to get clear on your heart's desires. And never settle for anything less. You never regret not settling. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. Now you never regret not settling and this is what I'm learning now. Everyone reminds me of you but they are not you. And I'm sorry if it's taken me a while to realise that I can be without anyone but not without you. Do you trust me to come to my own conclusions? Do you trust me to, to see through the illusion and see the truth, the divine truth for what, for what it is? Because I trust you, I always have. I feel badly for the way I treated you, you didn't deserve that. Yeah, I, I'm sorry that I may have done some things that made, made it appear as though I didn't care when I s s most certainly do care. Please, please trust me when I say that you're my world. Would you give me another chance? Damn, I want you back. So I really am desiring to come forward to you because you're my one true love. Yeah, I do have a few fears that are weighing me down a little bit, which you can help me release by doing by going into yourself and doing your own inner healing work. It's just the one little it's just the one final hurdle that I need to get over before I come forward to you. But uh, the details of that you don't need to know because you're getting me over that hump yourself right now by overcoming your own hurdles, overcoming your own difficulties, your own challenges. And reaching the peace that's on the other side of that. And so in doing so, I will do the same. I will mirror that. I will follow suit. I will have no choice but to do so. Thank you for that. I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. Well, that's... 
Well, that's that's up to you as to whether you move on or not. But you never move on from your true twin flame. Neither would you want to. This kind of connection doesn't go away. It gets stronger. And I want to share my life with you. I want unlimited commitment. I want to be completely devoted to my love, to, to you. I am not the same person that you remember. Well, you already know that because you have grown and changed and evolved so much. That I have as well, and I will be a completely different person to, your, that your, to your, what you remember when we, when we come back together. We will both be completely transformed. We will have really released all patterns of neediness or codependency. Our love for each other will be completely pure with no trace of attachment. Because that love energy, we can only respond to in each other if it's pure. We have purified our love and we will come back together in pure love and a long tight hug from you right now would be absolutely perfect for me <sighs> okay I think um, that's um, a nice point on which to end this message I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.